one big thing. What if suddenly, out of nowhere, you lost the ability to do whatever it is you do for a living. Say you're a truck driver who just lost the ability to keep the vehicle on the road. If you're an accountant who inexplicably couldn't add or correctly list deductions. If you're a TV anchor who somehow lost the ability to address the right camera or say words goodly. Whatever the most basic fundamental is to whatever your occupation is, you just lost it. Poof, and it's gone. What would you do? This topic's at the core of a book I'm anxious to read because it truly fascinates me. It's called Phenomenon, written by Rick Ankiel and Tim Brown. I read an excerpt today and it was gripping because what Ankiel did when he lost the ability to do what he'd done his whole life, which was to throw a baseball, what he did was drink. He explains how he beat Randy Johnson in a game where he turned to pounding vodka to calm the nerves. It was 2001, which I always forget was 16 years ago, which means that for a decent chunk of our audience, you, you might not even remem remember Ankiel's story. In 2000, he won 11 games, was top 10 in the National League in strikeouts, had a plus fastball, a filthy curveball. He was going to be a star. He was the Cards' game one playoff starter. Then later in those 2000 playoffs, he threw five wild pitches in an inning, he'd lost the ability to do what he did for a living. Unlike an anonymous profession where the struggles might happen in a cube, in an office somewhere, Hank Keel stood out there all alone on a mound with the world watching. Literally nothing else in baseball can happen until the pitcher throws the ball, and he couldn't. I mean, he could, but without a clue where it would go. Now, this began with a question. What would you do if this happened to you, if you lost it? And that's what made makes Act 3 of Ankiel's story even more amazing to me. He could have split, said no more of this, and who would have blamed him? Instead, Ankiel managed to reinvent himself as an everyday player, an outfielder with some pop who had a 25 home run season, which puts him on a line with Babe Ruth, the next man after Ruth to win 10 games and also hit more than 50 homers. And this sounds like a pop for a book where I actually have it up here and Ankiel or Brown are on it, and I don't. I'm just mentioning this because I'm so anxious to read it because the excerpt today was a reminder of a truly incredible story. A guy who lost the thing that made him who he was, but figured out a way to become whole as a different version of himself. I don't know how you do that. I just look forward to learning how he did.